Hi guys, I wanted to take a little bit and share with you a little bit of yoga for your core. Uh, we'll start with a simple warm up and a few uh, movements that flow, and then we'll focus on the core a little bit more specifically. So we'll use the yoga blanket, and we'll have that handy. And um, let's actually start standing. So we'll start with the arms up, and circle the wrists, full breath in as you're ready. Full breath out, reverse the direction of the circle. And then reach the arms forward and down. And then let's do one arm palm up and palm down behind you. Same thing, second side, palm up, palm down. As you reach back, feel the mild rotation in your spine. And then let's reverse direction, reach up from the back. And then let's go ahead and widen the feet a little bit. And this back a little bit. We're going to do hip circles. So hip circles, the feet wide. And reverse the direction. And let's do the feet together in a circle. And let's reverse it. Move your hands to hips, shift your reach one foot, come to the tip of the toe on the other side. Take a moment here to get grounded through your base, through the four corners of your foot. Let's lengthen through the spine and beyond. Come back to focus on your energetic center and find ease all around. With that in place, let's lift and circle the ankle. And then reverse the direction of the circle. And now let's extend and flex the leg at the knee joint. And come out and stay and hold it, hold it, hold it. Hands lifted. Let's do the same thing on the second side. Ground through both feet momentarily and then we shift from the tip of the toe. You are four points grounding, lengthening, centering. Focus on your energetic center and release what you can. And then let's lift and circle. And reverse the direction. And let's extend and flex the leg of the knee joint. And now let's extend this way and hold it, hold it, hold it, and step down. We'll do a couple movements here. Arms to the side, reach out and up, arms press. Let's do a side bend, reach up and press, side bend, reach up and press. We're going to swan dive, back bend, turns to forward fold. And then come into a uh, grasshopper pose, elbows lift, chest lift. Feel like the upper body back bend, like you would in a cobra. Release the body, lift your tail just a bit. And then bend the knees, reversing the swan dive, reach the arms out, to press the palms together. Let's do it again. Inhale, press. And side stretch to the other side. And reach up. And side stretch. And reach up. And swan dive. Let's do the grasshopper pose, elbows lift, chest lift. Ragdoll. Reverse the direction of the swan dive. And we do two more like that. Inhale, press. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, the grasshopper. Exhale, ragdoll. Reverse the swan dive. And let's do one more like that. Inhale, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, exhale, stretch. Inhale, and swan dive. Last hopper and back down. Reverse the swan dive and the last hopper. Right. Let's go ahead and step to the top of our mat. And the feet all the way together, palms forward, reach the arms up. And then exhale, arms reach down, back, and overhead far. Let's come into the low chair. So arms long, hips in line with your knees, maybe. Line fingers up with toes, step your left foot back. Come into plank pose and slow. We lower to the floor. Let's inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, half dog. Toes tuck and hips reach back. Let's inhale, the plank pose. And then downward dog. Inhale here. And exhale, left foot steps. Inhale here. And exhale, right foot steps. Inhale back in the chair. You can bring your feet all the way together and standing tall. Let's do that one more time. Palms forward. 
and inhale, chair pose. And exhale, red bell takes a bow. Inhale, love, chair. And exhale, right foot steps into lunge. Inhale, plank pose. And exhale, slowly lower. Let's inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, half dog, toes tuck. And hips, reach back. Inhale back in the plank pose and now downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale right foot steps. Inhale here, exhale left foot steps. Inhale chair pose and exhale standing. Okay, all right, let's go ahead up from here. We're going to take a blanket and we're going to work into some quadruped variations. So moving from all fours, starting with the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Let's step one foot back under the ball of the foot, then reach the other arm forward. Keep the belly firm and lift the leg. So we're balancing and quadruped going arm forward, one leg back. And let's hold it for a few more moments here. Just nice and steady, keeping the belly firm. Imagine you're wearing a weight belt and tightening it with your own muscles so we get our transverse abdominals engaged. And then let's switch to the second side. Start on the ball of the foot. Again, belly firm first, and then reach. And then lift your leg and hold it and breathe. Let's come down and we'll do a little further. We're going to start the same way, right foot back, left arm forward and lift. You can either stay with this variation or you can make a little more challenge, bringing the elbows and knee toward each other. And then reach the arm and leg long. Exhale as you close. Inhale as you open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. Inhale, let's do two more like that. Belly pulling in, rounding out the back. And one more time. And let's get ready for the second side. Sunbird, this one's called. We'll start to lift, and then elbow and knee come together. Belly pulls in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale. Let's do a couple more like this. This one takes a little more balance. It's a little more challenging than just holding the quadruped shape. Let's do one more like that. And then we'll do hip circles. So we'll move your hips to the right and back and left and center. And right and back and left and center. Two more right and back. And left and center. One more right and back. And let's get ready to go to the other direction. Left and back. And left and center. And left and back. And left and center. Left and back. And left and center. One more left and back. And right and center. Okay, let's do one more from this um, position here. We're going to go ahead and come onto our forearms, interlace the fingers. Let's actually make the, the have the palm, uh, let's actually not interlace. Let's have the palms together and have your thumbs lifted. We're going to come back on the ball of one foot and then the other. And we're going to rest our forehead on our thumbs. Belly firm. Let's take a full breath in here. Nice full exhale as you're ready. Full inhale. Nice exhale. Do a few more breaths right here. Really stays firm. Let's do one more nice long breath here. And then gently lower the knees. And we'll open our blanket up. We have a little extra cushion here. We'll do a little more uh, work for the core. We're going to start with, let's do long boat and short boat, okay? So I'm going to do toes touching. Toes touching the floor, long spine. And then back. And we're going to bring the shin bones parallel to the floor. So you're going to have your torso and your thighs kind of close together here. Belly stays firm. You can either stay here or reach one or both hands towards your feet. Hold it for a few moments. You can stay here in short boat, I'll call it. Or you can pull out into a longer shape and then pull into the short shape. So long boat and short boat and long boat and short boat and long boat and short boat. Long boat and short boat and pause. 
Okay, let's do feet together, knees apart, hands to ankles. Work the lift through the spine, bring your belly button forward. Big breath in, then big breath out. If you feel comfortable to round over the legs, you can round over the legs as well. Big breath in here, then big breath out. One more big breath right here, and big breath out. Okay, good. And we're going to go ahead and lengthen the legs, reach the arms forward, pull the belly in, and slowly roll down. Let's stretch the arms along behind us. Big breath in. Big breath out. And another big breath right here. And big breath out. Let's reach the arms up and we'll curl our way back up. Hold the belly in as you round up. Release the body over the legs. Let's sit up tall and two more times like that. Slowly rolling, slowly, slowly, slowly rolling. Finish with the arms along behind you. Inhale the arms up, exhale, nod, and curl, come back up, reach the body over the legs. And one last time, here we go, belly pulls in, slowly, 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 finish with the arms long. Now let's do feet, knees bent, feet on the floor, and hands to cradle the head, belly pulling in. We're just going to do a few simple sit-ups, so pull the belly in first, we'll nod the head to curl the head, neck and shoulder blades up keeping a fist distance of space between your chin and your chest, and then we come back down. And we do again, curling up and coming down. And curling up and coming down. And again. Okay, good. Keep going. And curling. Let's do four more like that. Here we go, four and a three. And a two, and a one. We're going to do arms long. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do it. I'm going to have to avoid the plant here. So I'm going to scoot a little bit further back. And we're going to go ahead and start with one leg up. And then do the other leg joins. I'm going to have you pull your belly in and press your low back into the floor. We're going to lengthen one leg down, just a little bit up off the floor, and then bring it back. And the same thing, second side. And I want you to, again, keep pulling the belly in, pressing the low back into the floor, really strong, pulling in from the front, really feeling that low back grounded into the floor. So we do a few more of these. And then reach, and come up, and reach, and come up, and reach, and come up, and reach. Let's do, let's do even a couple more. Let's call this four. A three and a two and last one. Let's come and bring the knees into the chest, rock the knees toward the nose a little bit, and then rock the legs from side to side. Okay, if you're comfortable rolling like a ball, we're gonna tuck the knees into the nose and start to rock forward and backward. Right? So you can make this easier by bringing the feet out and bringing the feet in. You can keep the heels in tight toward your tush. That's more challenging. And we'll come up and balance and come back and come up and balance. And come back. Come up and balance. Okay, good job. All right, let's do one more time for one more thing rolling down from here. We're going to start with the knees bent, feet together. And then pull the belly in slowly, slowly, slowly curl down. Finish with your arms long behind you. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, curl your way back up. And just two more like that. Belly pulls in slowly, reaching all the way down. Inhale the arms up and curl your way back up. One last time. Here we go. Let's go a little slower. We'll call this eight and seven and six and five and four. And three, and two, and one. Stretch long through the body. Big breath in. And big breath out. Okay, so that was a little bit of practice, focusing on the core. I hope that helps you stay, stay uh, grounded and uh, you just feel good in your body. And we'll finish that for today. Thanks so much, you guys. Mwah.